everyone, it's Lonnie Flowers, and after a nice long summer break, I am back. Well, it wasn't all nice, because for the entire month of June, I was dealing with a heartbreak. I know, right? The truth is, no one can break your heart unless you let them. So, it's my fault. To be fair, you just can't help it sometimes. The fact of the matter is, you don't get to choose who you love. And you sure don't get to choose who loves you. Though I am a highly sensitive, and I mean to the highest degree of sensitivity, a sensitive person, I think more than I feel. Please understand that doesn't mean I don't have feelings, just that instead of processing them in my heart, I think about them in my mind. You know that feeling you get in your heart when you feel a strong emotion? Well, I can probably count on my hand the amount of times I've actually felt that feeling. It's like as soon as my heart gets the notification, it shoots right back up to my brain so I can think about it first. To add to that, if you've ever met me, you know that my hands are always cold. I'm not completely numb, otherwise I wouldn't be able to explain this. I felt my feelings more frequently before. I just don't believe that I go through the motions in a way that would be considered normal. If you're a thinker like me, then you know that Overthinking leads to anxiety. So basically, I think until I feel sick. With the most audacious audacity, I've been told to stop thinking so much. As if there was just some switch I could use to turn this thing off. Even if there was, I wouldn't use it. Some people act like they don't think. And I just can't have that be me. Due to this sensory dysfunction, along with years of traumatic experiences, I've developed the involuntary coping mechanism of dissociation. I'm quite good at it. If you don't know what it means to dissociate, look it up. But for me, it means to shut down and start over. Hope is not lost. Earlier this year, I was in a group discussion and someone was relating broken glass to a broken heart. I don't remember their exact words, but something to the effect of it won't be the same. Then someone else chimed in saying, except with the glue called Jesus. And that was a true statement. 